In this video, we'll import some files, some photos from a card and uh, take a look at the options, things we can do with them as we import them. So we're here in the library module and uh, let's go down here on the bottom left and click on the import button. And that will open up the import screen and Lightroom will look for a card or a camera that's plugged into the computer. Uh, and look for the photos to import there. It hasn't found them, so I'll just select them manually. Um, uh, these are photos that I added myself to the card. That's probably why it didn't find them. Uh, so on the left, uh, you'll select a source, where to import from. And at the top, you have a couple of options of uh, how to move these files into Lightroom. So copy as a DNG, that's uh, Adobe's open source raw format. You could convert your files to that format if you wish. Uh, copy, which is what I've selected. Move or add. Now move and add are grayed out in this window. Uh, add would uh, Lightroom is expecting to find photos on uh, your hard drive or an external hard drive that it might import. And move would be the option to copy and erase at the same time. Lightroom doesn't allow you to do that from a camera or a card, uh, just to prevent any any mistakes, any problems. We want to keep those originals on the card until we're sure that they're copied to our hard drive. And on the right hand side, there are uh, options of what to do with the files as well as a destination to where to put them. And Lightroom, uh, first thing it wants to know is what size previews or JPEGs do you want to create from the RAW files? And you have these options, minimal, embedded in sidecar, standard, and one-to-one. -one. Now I've chosen one-to-one -one because I like to be able to zoom in and check for sharpness of these images as soon as I can, as soon as I get them into Lightroom. So it's a little bit slower than the uh, minimal or standard previews, but um, we'll have to make them anyway, so let's do it now. Uh, you could build smart previews, which are previews that uh, you would use for files that are offline from Lightroom. So if they're on the cloud or an external drive you don't have with you, uh, you could do some editing of smart previews. Don't import suspected duplicates. Um, I don't want to import anything that's already in the catalog, so I've checked that box. Make a second copy too, and you could choose to copy your files um, to uh, another external drive to make a second copy. Uh, however, I tend to delete a lot of files, so I'll do that uh, with Time Machine after I've imported them into Lightroom. Uh, add to a collection. So a collection is just an association amongst uh, files. Uh, let's let's go ahead and make one. So we'll call this ECC, and we'll add these files to that collection. Uh, lots of options to rename files if you wish. Uh, settings you can apply during import, so any of the develop settings, any of the presets that are available in uh, the develop module are here. You could apply those to uh, to these photos. Uh, I add my copyright data to the metadata and uh, keywords. And if this was all one subject matter, you could add a keyword to it. So if it was all landscape, for example, uh, you begin to type landscape and a Lightroom automatically fills in what's there in an existing keyword. Uh, if you wanted to apply multiple keywords, you would just put a comma and apply another keyword. It knows people is there. But uh, we won't do that here. We'll do that in the library module, uh, since these are all different subject matter. <clears throat> uh, destination. So Lightroom wants to know where to put the files on your hard drive. Um, so I've chosen uh, 2018, quarter two. Uh, if you wanted, you could uh, add a subfolder, give it a name. In this case, I've called it test. And that folder is <clears throat> uh, added here. Uh, you can see it's in italics. That means that Lightroom will create that folder on your hard drive and add these files to it. Uh, I've chosen organize into one folder, but you could choose to organize them by date and let Lightroom create dated folders for all of the images. So it looks at the images and 
uh, makes a folder for each unique date and will move those files into those folders. Uh, but again, I just choose to put them into one folder. Uh, so there we are. Let's go ahead and import these files. So we go back to the library module and Lightroom begins to show us the photos that it's importing and it will create the previews. And while it's doing that, let's take a quick look at keyboard shortcuts. So keyboard shortcuts um, make a program a little bit easier to navigate a little bit quicker. You're working on the keyboard instead of moving the mouse around. The one keyboard shortcut you need to know for Lightroom is command or control forward slash. And that brings up a splash screen for whatever module you're in. So we're in the library. This brings up a library shortcuts list. Uh, and some of the more common ones here. Um, well, let's take a look at them in the library. So uh, to view a single image uh, instead of the grid view is the letter E shows you that single image. You can scroll through your images using the arrow keys. Uh, you can hide the side panels uh, using the tab key. Or you can view the image as full screen using the F key. And G will take you back to the grid view. Uh, as you're looking at an image uh, there are a couple of uh, splash screens of information available um, by using the I key. So there's the second one is the uh, data on the image and of course those are customizable. You can set those for any various parameters that are uh, available. So we'll let, um, we'll let Lightroom go ahead and make these previews and uh, go on to make some uh, some adjustments to the images in the next video.